And actually, it started in 1898 when we invaded uh, Puerto Rico, we invaded um, the uh, Philippines, and we invaded Cuba. And one of those countries is still occupied by the United States, Puerto Rico, which the United States still exploits as a colony. And joining us is Ricardo Ortiz, an activist and revolutionary for Puerto Rico. Welcome, Ricardo. <clears throat> Thank you. Actually, yes, we do have a long history of uh, being uh, oppressed and repressed by uh, American intelligence agencies and uh, the armed forces of the United States. Uh, all of you know about uh, our fight uh, to get the United States Navy out of the uh, island municipality of Vieques, which we were successful. But one of the minor uh, pioneers, the pioneers, I'm sorry, uh, bombing Vieques was the Royal Navy. The Royal Navy also conducted uh, exercises there because uh, the British government is an accomplice of uh, the United States uh, war crimes and also competes uh, around the world in terms of uh, economic uh, influence. Uh, we should remember that uh, William Assange is posting all these uh, secrets and the, uh, dirty tricks by the United States. Also, the British government, which uh, participates in invasion, in the, they participated in the invasion of uh, uh, Iraq, has a troop contingents in uh, Afghanistan and so on, has a long history of intervention around the world. Actually, if you look at the United States Army Marine Corps Counterinsurgency Manual, you will see that uh, they, uh, the American military, looks at the sample of the British intervention in Malaya in 1954, an anti communist innovation that the British did killing thousands of people in Malaya. That's what the British government uh, does around the world. It's a capitalist government as enterprises such as a British Petroleum, British uh, Associate Products which competes with Monsanto. The British government is not a so-called sweet and rose government. It's an imperialist government that uh, supports all the efforts that the United States and its uh, war criminals uh, partners do around the world. I, I am also a veteran of the United States Army, and I was stationed in Europe. And uh, if you read military history, actually, the criminal Green Berets were formed and trained by a British Army unit called the SAS, which is the Special Air Service. It's the equivalent of the American Green Berets that actually helped the Americans to create the special forces for the United States Army in, in the 50s. So the British has a long, they do have a long history of intervening in the third world of uh, their corporations intervening, oppressing, and uh, causing malnutrition and all illness and hardships of capitalism around the world and in the third world. So that's why they are after uh, 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 Julian Assange, because he's an example exposing all these crimes that all these imperialist powers commit around the world. And they don't want that to happen to them either. So all capitalist governments, no matter how they call it themselves, labor uh, parties, uh, conservatives, supposedly socialists, such as the Socialist Party of France, that during their incumbency, they had invaded countries in Africa. In, Poly in the French Polynesia in the 80s, the Socialist Party of France sent troops to crush a Soviet team movement that was developing there. So, you know, don't even think that the European imperialists are less criminals than the Americans. They are competing each other and collaborating with each other in order to establish their capitalist multinational uh, dominance uh, against the working class of the people of the world. So I want to say, free as such, and the United States get out of Puerto Rico, cancel that criminal debt that the U.S. created to uh, have everything in the country privatized. End colonialism. U.S. out of the Caribbean, out of Venezuela, out of Iraq, out of everywhere. Long live socialism. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Go, Dave. Dave, Lana.